Hey you. All right, today I'm going to get my hair done and it's in a bun. And this is gonna be quick makeup, but I figured you could join me. Starting with a little moisturizer. I already had some moisturizer on, but I'm feeling dry today. So I'm going to go in with an extra layer So my moisturizer is on, my sunscreen is on, and now I'm going in with a little bit of lip balm to prep the lips, let it sit there until I'm ready to do the lips, which will probably be gloss anyways. And now I'm going to go into foundation. I've been using this guy, the Chanel Ultra Le Tint, 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 and I'm going to take that on a beauty blender and just pounce away as they say one pump goes a long way with this foundation and i really don't want full coverage i just want to even out the base and even out the hyperpigmentation that has really been improving with the clear and brilliant laser sessions that i've been doing but it is getting hotter the sun's been coming out and usually when it's summer or hot outside or sunny outside all of my freckles and melasma, hyperpigmentation, get a little bit darker. Foundation is done and now it's time for contour and I'm going to use the things that I always end up using on myself almost on the daily, which is this Real Techniques brush and a Kiko contour stick. Bronzer is going to be on this Urban Decay brush and that is the Danessa Myricks Cream Power Bronzer in Light. I'm going to add a lot more to the cheek simply because I feel like I know what direction this makeup is going in and it's going to be pink. Really hot, scorching pink. So I want a little bit more color on the face. I don't know why that's the logic that I'm using right now, but don't worry. This will be blended. Beauty Blender to diffuse that entire look. You can go back in with your foundation brush if that's what you chose to use. Now taking the Chanel Rose Corrector and two little dots to be blended out with a dome synthetic brush and bringing that out just a little bit. Really, it's not that much product that I can blend out to the temple, but I like to pretend. And a pinch of pink on the cheeks. I'm using the NARS Liquid Blush in Orgasm. This is another product that is hyper intense in pigment and a tiny, tiny little dot goes so far. I'm going to press that into the skin with my fingertips. I'm blending it in the same direction that my bronzer is going, bringing it in, bridge of the nose, and up toward the temple. The reason I layer products like this is because I feel that you get more of a blend and less of a stripe when you layer them together. Yes, there are some areas I won't cover with other products, but when it's cheek, I like it to all kind of mesh together. And for highlight, I'm going to use this Nabla stick. It is a cream highlighter and the color is Beige Mirage. I'm going to take that onto the back of my hand first to warm up the product and I'll pick it up from my hand. So in with the fingertips and just pressing into the skin. The thing with highlight is that you do want to catch it from different angles so you can see the edges and whether or not they're blended, which is a little harder to do on yourself, but you could always go over with a brush or a beauty blender to make sure that they're diffused. And the only reason that you want everything blended is because usually you're creating an illusion. So 
the bronzer is an illusion that I'm tan. The highlight is an illusion that my cheekbones are more pronounced or wherever I'm applying it is more pronounced or my skin is healthier, dewier than it actually is. And to create an illusion, you don't want seams. Seams will sell you out. And I'm going to powder. I've been using this guy. I don't know how to pronounce this. this is oh hi. Oh hi. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I like this powder. It's the glass powder. I'll put the details in the subscription box once I have a chance to uh, to Google what this actually is. I think it's Urban Outfitters. I'm not too sure. Powdering the center of my forehead and from the eyes, just straight down and chin. Keeping the cheekbone area nice and dewy and then the tip of the nose. So now moving on to eyes, I'm going to use these amazing pinks. Oh, I don't even know if that's showing up. This guy, just probably just right down there. And I'll be laying down a pencil to start. This is the Marc Jacobs highlighter pencil in popular and I'm taking that into the waterline and right below the lash line, well, in the lash line and below the lash line, and pretty low, as you can see. Now I'm blending that out with a synthetic brush. This is from Urban Decay, and I don't want it to completely diffuse. I like the strength of the color, so I want to make sure the edges are smooth and that's pretty much it. Now I'm taking Monte Carlo or Monte Carlo from the Riviera palette from Anastasia and layering that over my cream product, pressing it in with my brush and then kind of diffusing those edges and I'm going to take a natural hair brush. This is a goat hair brush from Refer. If you haven't heard of them, they're an amazing new line of Japanese made natural hair brushes. And for the top, I think I'm going to go into Palermo, which is this stunning metallic pink. You can see there. Oh yeah. And I'm going to press that onto the top lid. I don't have a primer or anything down, but the grease from my eyelid will be sufficient for this to stick. I'm not against eyeshadow creasing on myself. I don't mind it, it doesn't bother me. And I'm just pressing that up toward the brow bone. I don't wanna to go too far with this. It's already going to be a very in your face look because of the pinks and the texture. And then taking that refer brush again and blending out those edges. Now this brush doesn't have any product on it initially, but as I blend, the brush is picking up the shadow and it's still on the brush. So I wanna make sure that I'm dusting it off before I go into the next eye look. So the other eye is done and now I feel like I want some of that really hot pink, which is Bahamas. And I'm deciding what I'm going to do. I'm looking at my brushes that are right down here and I'm taking a pencil brush. Yep, that's the move. So I'm taking that hot pink on the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil brush and I'm going to add it in the regular usual Dom places, which is right here in that inner corner kind of crease. And Maybe somewhere else. Let me decide. This is usually how I plan my looks. You can see lots of strategy is involved. Lots of precision. It's very serious, guys. Very serious business, this makeup. I like this kind of not blended texture that I'm creating by accident, but kind of going with. 
And I think I'm going to maybe just leave it like that. All right, so as I'm working, I like this paint stroke look, but I want to add some depth. So I'm taking a little detail brush. This is a Smashbox Precise Brow and Liner, and I'm taking that purple from Riviera, which is Can, and creating more little strokes within within this pink cloud or I don't even know what to call this and outlining it also shading it so in my mind this should look like a little cloud going into the pink as well with this detail brush And then these lines are going to kind of follow my natural crease. I don't know what this is, guys. I'm just I'm playing around. This is usually what I do. I like to play with makeup. It's still fun. Mm -hmm. I like that. Now for the other eye. I like symmetry when it's intentional. I don't like symmetry as a rule because it almost limits what you can do or what you can play around with because you're so fixated on something being exactly the same that, that you just don't allow yourself to experience something, I feel. I don't know, it's almost too structured, too harsh an environment, too structured a concept not to challenge. And then running my finger across that just to blend it out. Yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm done with that inner corner brightness. Behind the scenes, a coat of mascara magically appeared and now brows. And I'm going in with just a brow gel. I know last time I said, oh, I'm not gonna put anything in my brows and ended up really filling them in, so. I'm really not going to put any color in my brow other than this gel. Brow gel is in and for lips, I'm going to do a gloss. Surprise, surprise. I have been absolutely loving these Lancome Labsolu glosses. They go on like a dream. And it's the, I think it's the only lip gloss that I've gotten compliments on when wearing it. It's almost like a moussey moussey gel consistency it's so pretty this one is 230 and it's a nude with pink it's like a pinky nude with a little bit of gold shimmer and that is it guys that is my hot pink look for the day with some purple clouds Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I appreciate your comments and your feedback on the Met look with the lashes that I put up a few days ago. I look forward to seeing you here more often. Bye guys.